So, so I'm just gonna say this. Typically, I would capture this off of my Xbox One, but I have to be able to explain this. Now, I just kind of thought about this and really just kind of put it into perspective. But I had a character that had all the hard mode spawners on it, and it's not the this one that I'm on. This one's shit. But I basically went on, back on my 360. Now, this does involve you previously having a 360 cloud save. Without that, you can't do this. But basically, you just download your character, okay? So it would be this one. You load up your world. We're just gonna take maybe 30 seconds of your day, maybe less, maybe more. But what I'm gonna do is basically show you how to do this. But more or less, you have to have a cloud save and you download it, you go into your world. And if you have worlds, that you can port over don't really got to do this but said character has to have the items in the piggy bank and the safe because that's all that's gonna port over now if this could hurry the fuck up I could you know further prove the point here thank you thank you very much do, 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 do. So basically, I'll have my whole inventory here. Take note. And then there's all of this. By the way, I'm going to take those chests because I'm going to need them. But yeah, basically, just kind of, you know, clear everything you want out. Keep in mind that stacks above 999 will be dropped down if you do put that in your chest so it's best to throw it character to character i haven't tested that yet so i don't know if that'll work to keep it but i did this once already just because i spend the majority of my time farming the bosses because it's really all i have to do in here like i raped the moon lord already if you couldn't tell from my main character that you saw in the top but yeah more or less as it sits now i'm just kind of ammo stocking like see how it is like ten thousand stacks you bump out sure enough i walk away Are you actually going to stay? Last time it went to 99. Eh, cool. If it stays, my actual character will have plenty of ammo. Anyways. Back on to the second step of this wonderful shit. That I am now in love with because I'm a dirtbag like that. But you basically exit. You don't have to do this next part. But it's just, just going to make it a lot easier. So what you're going to want to do is delete your character. And download your character again. And you repeat this uh, process as many times as you want. So, yeah. And I'll load it up to prove that this works. I used to be quite the Terraria duper <laughs> back in the day, like when the Magic Mirror one was around, so I kind of stay on top of this. I've never seen a video of this at all, so I think I'm going to be the first one to actually make this. Because, <laughs> like, trust me, I looked on every way to dupe, and they just all involves two controllers. All playing two controllers, having gold membership to fucking be able to start an online game. Like, this is, like, next level shit. Because if you have a... You can go online and, like, you know... Mod a character. Put it on 360. Port the worlds over. 
So as long as you have a 360, you, you Gucci. But yeah, all this is in my inventory. I'll just kind of fly my way up. And it's all back in here again. So yeah. I hope this helps, guys. Because I know nobody really wants to start over in Terraria like some people do. But let's be fair. Having to completely start from scratch is a kick in the dick. Even entering this, when I first fought the Moon Lord, I had beetle armor. I was nowhere as close to even being ready to fight him at all. And I still managed to do it, so. Off topic. Anyways, guys, hope this helped you big time. You know, hit up my other videos if you want. Because I do have some quite interesting shit. Anything from funny to, you know, stuff to do with Fallout, how to dupe and shit, so. Have a good one.